going to talk about the admin body class which is a filter hook so admin body class if you look at the uh, codex you can see that uh, it is defined by the apply filters uh, function and it accepts one parameter which is classes okay and uh, it filters the CSS classes for the body tag and admin which means if you go to admin uh, page which is your backend any of the pages and you do an inspect element and you will check the body tag you can see all of these classes so you can insert your own classes over here using the admin body class okay and um, this uh, if you check this classes variable uh, is basically a space separated list of CSS classes okay so it is not an array unlike your body class hook it is going to be a list of uh, space separated classes okay that you can pass all right so for example you can pass like uh, for example this was your variable classes then you can pass class one space class two space class three and so on and so forth yeah so you can pass your own classes uh, your custom classes uh, with this space separated list okay and um, basically it is used for admin so if you remember we had discussed in one of my previous videos about the uh, body class so I'll show that to you body yeah so we had discussed the uh, body class okay in which um, it was an array basically so I'll just show that to you so if you see codex uh, we had a filter hook called body class and which was actually you know taking care of the uh, array uh, so whenever you pass the parameter then it will be an array but in this situation uh, which is admin body classes this is not an array it is a space separated list of CSS classes okay even that was used uh, to filter the list of CSS body classes for the current poster page uh, but uh, this one will also use uh, for that as well okay but uh, the body class was used for the front end and the admin body class is used for the backend as the name says admin okay so if you want to add uh, a set of classes to your front end on your site over here if you want to add any class you can go ahead and use the body class hook and pass the list of the classes in form of an array and if you want to add the classes into your backend in this body tag then you can use the admin body class uh, filter hook and pass the classes in form of the space separated string of class okay class names great so there is a, a very nice article on this that I'd like to show you okay um, which talks about um, the this body class so before we go ahead and read this we're going to go ahead and check where actually it is defined so if you go to admin header dot php okay which is in wp admin directory okay and if you check admin body class You can see that it's defined here okay so it's apply filters is the name of the function that defines this hook and this is basically the classes variable so this is this parameter that it takes is the classes variable which is a space separate list of CSS classes okay so whenever you're going to define your custom function and you use the uh, add filter to hook into this particular um, hook then uh, whatever value you return in terms of uh, the value for the classes that will be returned by this function apply filter and will be used for the admin body classes 
and if you see just below this uh, it is the body class that's defined and it's echoing out this value of ad admin body classes which is returned by um, which is returned by your uh, custom function which is attached to this hook they also have the admin body class uh, which has been you know uh, echoed out over here with the space separation but that would be taken care by the fun by the functions or the codes which are written over here so as you can see that you know they are checking different conditions uh, if user setting is m fold then the admin body class will be folded uh, if it's unfold then auto fold is admin bar showing then admin bar add the admin bar class so depending on you know which condition is met over here the value of the admin class uh, would differ and will be displayed over here okay uh, but uh, we're not gonna you know get into this because we're not worried about this what we are discussing is the admin body class so admin body class hook as we discussed uh, allow you to add your own custom classes uh, which we go ahead and pass in this classes variable over here uh, and uh, that is with the space separated list of CSS classes and that is what is going to be echoed out over here whatever value you're going to pass over here will be echoed out here because that is what is returned by the apply filters okay um, so let's quickly go ahead and uh, put that in action so I'm into my functions.php for my um, for my theme you can also write it in your uh, plugin as well okay so what I'm doing is I'm using the add filter function and hooking my custom function IHS admin body class to the admin body class hook which is what we're discussing now and I'm passing the classes as uh, the variable into my function because remember we discussed that uh, this hook allows you to uh, use the classes variable into your function and that's uh, we're going to modify you know going to add the value or modify the value of this classes variable so now what we're doing over here is that we are calling this function get current screen so this basically allows us to uh, give us the uh, object the screen object for the wp screen okay so there's a wp screen class and it gives us the uh, object uh, instantiated out of the WP uh, class okay so I'll just show that to you it's not the WP class WP screen class okay so there's a class uh, defined in WordPress called the WP screen class and uh, this function is going to go ahead and give us the access to the object made out of the WP screen class okay okay so it's gonna go ahead and give us the object and um, why we do we need this object is to check which screen the user is on because uh, we may not want to apply the class uh, the body class uh, on all of the admin pages we might want to apply it on a specific page for example if I want it only on this on pages post type if I want to have only on post post type or if I want to only uh, have it on the comment post type so depending on where I want uh, you know I can put a condition right here uh, by checking what is the screen base and if it's equal to this then go ahead and make the value of classes uh, equal to space and then screen post type will return the post type and then add one more class to it which is ISS class so there are two class type which will be added and this will return the class remember in the filter uh, hooks we have to filter functions we need to return the value of the uh, uh, variable that or parameter that's passed over here so we'll return this classes whatever the value is the inside of this this value will be given to uh, the add filter admin body class which will be gi then given to the apply filters and apply filter will return the value over here and that's what will be a code over here okay so let's see that in action so if you go to um, pages as you can see that this class has been applied so post type is page and IHS class has been applied yeah and uh, let me uh, explain to you in detail how is this is actually working in terms of this screen object so let's comment out this
So what I'm doing over here, I'm just using the admin notices hook to echo out the value of the screen. I'm printing out the screen object, which is the uh, object created out of the WP screen. Okay, so I'm gonna just go ahead and check it out. See, this is what is being printed out over here. And if you check, this is this WP screen object, and it has got all these parameters available, you know, methods available and things like that. So we are just interested in this base basically because that's what we are were accessing over here if you remember <coughs> we're saying that screen and I want the base property of the screen object so I'm accessing the base property is that equal to edit yes it is which means the user is on the pages and then go ahead and add these classes okay I'm also going to show you how this value changes, uh, this base changes when we go onto a different page. So let's say I go into media. Now the base value is upload. Also notice the post type. So instead of checking the condition uh, saying that you know uh, the screen base uh, is equal to edit, we can also check screen and then arrow post type. We can also access the post type property and probably write attachment over here so that the classes would get applied in the body tag only in when you are in media okay so you can check that condition as well using this object okay uh, let's say we go to post you can see now the base is edit okay so edit uh, is the base both in post as well as pages okay and is there anything else so if you want it for both uh, post and pages, we can check the condition like that. Okay, and depending on you know which all pages, which all post type have this base as edit, or if you want to be more specific, then we can check the condition if post type, uh, you know, if screen arrow post type is equal to post or page, you know, and then go ahead and apply the body classes there. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and change this. So let's say we want to go ahead and apply the body class in comments. Okay, so base type of comments is edit comments. So I'll just comment this code out. Okay, you can see this is applied, yeah? Why it is applied? Because the base type of comments page uh, in the admin is the edit comments now if you go to posts that class won't be applied why because you know we are checking the condition right so if we do inspect element we can see in the body tag we have IHS class which is applied over here <coughs> yeah and screen post type doesn't have any value it is we don't have any value inside the post types hence we don't have that class added right and uh, all right and if you go to pages we don't have that right let's say if we change this to post type and we put this as page if the post type is page then if you notice it's changed but if you go to post it won't work because we are checking the condition only if the post type is page only then go ahead and apply that class okay so you can see now this page is basically the value of the this page right here is the value of the screen post type uh, property okay and um, the IHS class is what we are applying and in my style sheet I have put background as green yellow for the IHS class that's how it's working okay uh, last but not the least uh, let's get some information about uh, this admin body class using this useful uh, article on the site the list of the admin body classes is not useful for users they are made for something like responsive admin in WordPress or detecting handheld devices at the point of view of users we need better classes to style pages uh, 
WordPress uses filter admin body class to let us add more classes to the admin body. The default value of the filter is an empty string. Yeah. So the default value is an empty string for this classes variable. <coughs> okay. Uh, which means no additional classes. We want to add post type to admin body classes, so we'll do this. So this is what we've done over here. You know, when we did the screen base, you can select that as a post, and then you know, uh, basically the same example, but the condition is different. It's worth noting that admin body class accepts a string as an argument and not like body class in front end which accepts an array. Remember what we spoke about in the beginning of the tutorial that body class hook uh, apply, uh, sorry, filter hook actually accepts the classes parameter as an array, which is the list of CSS body classes for the current poster page for the admin. Uh, but this one accepts as a uh, you know, space separated list of classes. All right. Well, let's see if we have something else which we should know about. So I think uh, that's about it. I don't need to discuss anything else on this. All right. So I hope that helps. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please uh, do leave it in the comment box or uh, you can ask me. Uh, otherwise, uh, by going on to my site. Alright, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please share and subscribe to my channel and uh, keep watching. Take care. Bye.